special guest today is future veterinarian. Um, I'm gonna call him future Dr. Michael Conguista. <laughs> he's, he's laughing at me. The idea is this, it's an innovative competition. It's exclusively for veterinary students. And what it's designed to do is just to allow them to get their creativity, get their innovation out, um, show their entrepreneurial spirit. And it's, it was created by this company called Vet Prep. And this is the second year of it. Uh, last year they awarded you know, almost $18,000 worth of prizing. And, and this year I think, I think they're going for more. Uh, honestly, I don't really know the, quite, the exact number, but they're definitely going for more. And, and Michael is one of the finalists here. And he's invented this veterinary dental active learning type of dime. Why don't we just talk about what your idea is? I envision my idea to be this model, this dental apparatus that veterinary students can practice on. Um, simple basic training, uh, a model made with inexpensive material so that you know veterinary students can afford it, and just to practice simple scaling, curatage, and root planning techniques. And that's the first generation of the model, and I, I'm very happy with how it came out. <laughs> you should see my bedroom with all the, the silicone molding and everything, but um, I'm really excited to present it to the judges at, this comp at the symposium. I think we as veterinarians, we don't get much dental training, um, which therefore makes us not really liking to do dental trophies and everything like that. And it's funny because that is the area, probably one of the most um, um, strongest areas of veterinary medicine that we really need to hunker down in, in, in our, our patients. It, you know, almost 80% of dogs and cats by the age of three have some form of dental disease. And really what's been driving the veterinary profession over the last five to ten years is to emphasize the importance of doing regular dental cleanings, getting in there and talking about home dental care. So I, I think it really goes along. It's a, it's a good opportunity at this time to talk about things like this. So Michael, why don't you, why don't you talk about um, how you envision this concept and how you, you, um, you brought it to its fruition? I envision this product to be hopefully um implemented into the dental curriculum of as many veterinary schools as possible. I envision students practicing basic techniques on them using their uh, instruments provided and um, abiding by an instructions manual that would come in this veterinary active learning type it on bundle package. So, so for our listening audience who aren't aware of what's involved in the dental training, do you want to explain what when, when you're saying that the, the student is learning, what exactly are they learning? Sure. My first and second year of veterinary school, right now we're getting an overview of dental training. Um, not as much, but I would have liked more during my first year of veterinary school. This year we're starting to lean more um, into practicing hand technique and proper curatage and dental scaling and dental root planing. Um, proper, um, how to administer a proper oral exam on a dog or a cat and how to rate and grade periodontal disease in an animal. So you're, you're helping the, the veterinary student gain a better understanding of what's involved within the mouth of a, of a cat and dog. Through this, they're gonna gain more knowledge. Um, what, kind of, what kind of hurdles did you have to overcome in, in developing this, this model system and so forth? Hurdles involved, you know, kind of selecting the right material to create a, a model that students can pick up, practice opening and closing the mouth, um, durable material. The m current models out there on the market right now, they don't do a good job of keeping the teeth in place. Um, personally, I think that they are not as realistic as what a, as what a model should be used for. As a vet, um, from a veterinary student. At the university, I conducted a survey. Nine out of 10 students believe that the model I developed will help them become more proficient in practicing dental cleaning, scaling, charting, and root planing. Um, and I think it's just really important to have an anatomically correct model that students can practice on. I, and while you were talking, I was thinking about the model, the two models that I have. One is, well, I, I have an actual cat and dog skull, right? So we have those to, to talk about. In the exam room, we have those um, acrylic, they're clear acrylic uh, plates with the rubber teeth in there and they have different right. levels of, and every time we drop them, the tooth goes missing. So <laughs> it's like, you have one of those things. Or you have those red plastic models that show you the dental, uh, the various grades of tartar, and, and it's just like, there's really not much much there. But even even learning how to do a proper uh, oral exam and, and getting in there with your hand tools and everything is, is, is very important. 
And with these models, I wanted to develop kind of a synthetic calculus mixture that I formulated and apply that to the teeth wow. of, on the model so that students can practice scaling the synthetic mixture off. Wait, wait a sec. Let's talk about that. Let's call it a quick drying, quick drying calculus, right? That so, yes. so, so, so if I had this model kit, I would put the calculus on myself or you? Yes. Oh, and so you, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank no, you. No, that's really, that's ingenious. What's it made out of? Can, can you dis divulge? It's mo predominantly made out of pumice powder, okay. which is what's found in most dental technicians' offices. Um, with a little water and a couple other materials, they allow the mixture to stick to the teeth and make it hard for the student to kind of pick it off with the instrument. So it kind of creates a realistic, you know, cleaning. It's kind of a homemade recipe, so. Have you been able to actually, um, I, I'm sure you had test models, right, that your fellow classmates are using, so, and what kind of response are you getting from that? So the one model that I uh, finalized as my prototype, I showed a couple of classmates and they were really, really excited about practicing on it. My, what I'm doing now, hopefully to present at the symposium in a, in a month or so, is develop kind of three or four models and really have students practice on them and host a session for them and to take a video and see how, um, what they think of the model and kind of seek their input as well. But you, I've been showing my colleagues this one model and they're really, really um, psyched about it. You know, they want to practice on it and they want one for their own. So I see some demand here. Oh, and it speaks, I got to be frank with you, it speaks volumes to make vets excited about dental things. Other than the ones who want to become dentists, that speaks volumes. In my market analysis and presentation, I will be talking about a cat model and a horse model that has a first and, gen and second generation. I'm just blown away right now. I think that's great. <laughs> I think that's wonderful. Thanks for watching and if you like today's show please subscribe and remember love your pet like they love you unconditionally have a great day